all, I wanted to get you guys some truths in this video. I will be talking about the latest rants and polls from Kanye West. I know I'm a little late with this video, however, what is happening? And is Kanye trying to tell us something about the Kardashians? Should we be listening? You know, I'm fair and I try to be rational and objective. But I must say, these Dark Kardashians are being very sneaky and leeches when it comes to Kanye. I mean, we all know the epitome of Hollywood slash Los Angeles. They have the fake tans, the boobs, the ass, the lips, well, pretty much the entire body. And they have money and fame. Yep, put them on a front of a postcard for Hollywood, California. Perfect. The Kardashians are perfect for that picture. However, something happened and it made them meeting Kanye connections badly. Although he has always been cool with the Kardashians, preferably Kim, he even rapped about it. Take a look at this. Jesus. Okay, but like we're really gonna all act like Kanye didn't say, my psychic tell me she gonna have an ass like Serena, Trina, Gina for Lopez, four kids. One, two, three, four. And I gotta take all they badasses to showbiz. Maybe Jesus is just like he rapped about it was during a time where he thought women were to conquer and not to nurture something like that he was caught up in that whole rap having many hoes money and so on image as time went on and having kids and then because of marrying the kardashians and then beyonce and jay-z who are not affiliated with them caused the chains that they had on kanye to be broken he started to see the See that Jay Z and Beyonce for who they were, snakes. Not disregarding the fact that Jay Z never liked Kanye in the first place. And if you look back at older interviews, Jay Z made that known. He used Kanye just like everyone else had, and is still doing. However, while in the midst of this epitome, he started to see the Kardashians clearly as well. But he was like two kids in by then, and then he had his alleged mental break. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what the media said. Don't forget the Kardashians are pros at manipulating the media. Who do you think Jonathan Chaban is? He worked as a publicist at first before venturing off into reality TV, jury, food, and so on. So, whenever they needed a story to be twisted and also with the help of their legal team, it's over. So, what does that leave a man who lost his friends, his mother, and his entire music game and people? It leaves him to be ate up and spit out by the Kardashians. Since Kim has been with Kanye, yes, she had some projects going before him, but he made her better. She gained shares in Amazon, started a makeup slash sleepwear and so on empire. Her image got cleaned up a little bit. She decided to pursue law and needed Trump help to gain recognition and also to improve her image as a serious lawyer. She even asked for Jennifer Lopez's help. Oh, and from what I was told, she also begged Kanye to befriend Trump to win him over and also help her get some inmates released. He did it despite what he thought about him. Ambush. The spirit of the people of southern Louisiana and Mississippi may end up being the most tragic loss of all. George Bush doesn't care about black people. Please call. In the past few days, America and... And not to mention, piss off certain people and to gain power. Yet he did it, well, put it like this, he did it Will Smith, except there wasn't an entanglement. <laughs> Well, maybe there was, because it seems that Kanye has accused Kim of sleeping with Meek Mill. You know, early on in their relationship, I don't know if it's true, it was a picture of them together released and Meek said it was BS, but you can't believe anything that he's saying, judging from his past. I'm going to leave it there, but no, I'm not, I'm kind of on the fence with this, you know, so moving right along here. Kanye has also expressed his concerns of Kim turning their daughter north into her.
You see, the more he got saved and close to God and goddesses, depending on your religion, the more awake he became, the more he wants to distance himself from them or he'll become like all the rest of their exes who got in too deep. But what I'm so pissed off about is how Kim, out of spite and maybe even anger and embarrassment of her husband calling her out and saying he wants a divorce. She jumped on the bandwagon of the majority and said, and I'm just paraphrasing, of course. Oh, it's his bipolar, but by his shit. That's literally what she said. Now, this statement along and all of the other crap I've seen from her in recent times makes me believe that they're getting ready for something. And we can just about guess. I mean, I may have an online journal. Okay, you might want to check it out. All oh, me, bear my soul. And I express some normal things at work and things of that nature. But I would never disagree or side with the negativity about my husband in public or to anyone outside our circle of trusted friends and family. I don't care what the heck he said. I'll disagree with him when we get in the car or at home or something, but not in front of... No, no. Oh, and, and another thing. Another thing. Being bipolar doesn't mean that he's incompetent. Now. Watch Kim and the Kardashians socially crucify Kanye, or maybe even worse, take him to the cleaners. Or worse, death. I pray that doesn't happen. Well, that's it. Let me know your thoughts below on that note. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And hit that bell so you get notifications when I do post my videos. Love you all. See you all later. Bye.